What is up guys, Sondran here. In this video, I'm gonna explain why you should be ceramic coating your wheels and show you step-by-step -step how to do it with C-Quartz UK 3.0. If you haven't already, make sure you subscribe to the channel and like this video. I cover everything to do with cars, including detailing, and that's why in this video, I wanna show you now, while I have my 2008 Audi R8 wheels right behind me, how to go ahead and ceramic coat them to protect them for the season that's coming and to make sure you can wash them really simple and easy going forward in the future. Just like your car that you would ceramic coat, the biggest reason, the biggest benefit of a ceramic coating is to make it easier to go ahead and wash and maintain. Just to be very clear, this does not help with rock chips. This does not help with scratching, no matter what the marketing will tell you. Again, I've been a detailer for the last 15 years. It's all kind of gimmicks. But the one thing that this does allow you to do is to make it super easy and efficient to go ahead and clean. A lot of the times with a ceramic coated wheel, all you need to do is pressure wash the wheel and all of the dirt will come off. So this is a game changer in terms of durability, maintenance, and upkeep of your vehicle. That's why I wanna go ahead and do it now. You guys know if you've been following me on the channel, doing a little bit of a restoration project on the Audi R8, and I just got these beautiful wheels from Audi, refinished by John at Union Ram. And so in that case, it's in the perfect condition to go ahead and put a ceramic coat on these wheels. One of the first things you wanna do before you're working on your wheel is make sure that they're completely clean. Whether they're on your car, which is good, or whether they're off like they are behind me, you wanna make sure they're totally clean. And in addition to that, you will wanna take a alcohol solution, an IPA with a microfiber towel to go ahead and just make sure totally, there's no oils, there's nothing there that will get in the way of your ceramic coating bonding to the wheels. So we wanna do that number one. So I'm gonna do that on these wheels behind me right now. But once that's done, you're gonna go ahead and apply the ceramic. And honestly, it's really simple. The application part is the easiest part. The hardest part is actually the prep work that's needed. So you wanna make sure it's totally clean. If you can, also clay bar your wheels if they're really, really kind of dirty. Give them a clay bar as well. If you don't know how to clay bar, I will link a video up in the description box down below and I'll link it here as well. So you can go ahead and see how to do that. But really, this is gonna make sure once the prep is all done, the ceramic is the cherry on the top of all your work. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you what I'm gonna be doing and I'm gonna be using in this example, C Quartz UK 3.0. This is my favorite DIY consumer ceramic. I will link it in the description box down below. I've used this on the full body of my 2008 Audi R8. I also made a full video on that. So if you wanna check that out, I'll also link it down in the card above. But make sure when you do all this again, the prep is there and make sure you have a good bottle to go ahead and give you enough to go ahead and cover all four wheels. So in this case, again, the wheels are mounted for me and I'm just gonna spray a bit of this solution, this isopropyl alcohol solution, and just give the surface a wipe down, right? That's all we wanna do is give the surface a wipe down. Again, this is a brand new wheel for me. I had it completely refinished, so I know it's really clean, but I'm just gonna wipe it down anyway. And so if you have, again, a vehicle that's dirty, you just clean the wheel off, you wanna make sure you wipe this fully down. And I'm gonna be coating the face of the wheel, but I'm also gonna be coating the barrel because I have access to it. So it's pretty easy to go ahead and do. But again, this is probably one of the most important steps. Make sure, especially with these nooks and crannies everywhere, that you clean everything. You might've handled it, got a little bit of dirt in your finger or something. You just wanna make sure the surface is totally clean. You don't want the ceramic to cover up anything else that's on the finish of your wheel. And the other thing I'll say is make sure again, like even though these wheels are refinished and basically completely clean, there's still some specs and all of that. You wanna completely clean, as clean as you possibly can. The prep is the most important, but now I feel very confident there's no oil, there's no grease, nothing will get between my ceramic and the wheel. So there's lots of different ways to go ahead and apply this. I have this microfiber foam pad. You can apply it in a bunch of different ways, but I have this, this one I'm gonna use, so I can easily massage this, see it's very flexible, into all of the crevices of the wheel. And that's what I wanna make sure I do, is get like all of the crevices in the wheel like this. I have here the C-Quartz 3.0 product. You're gonna be putting about five or six drops to start. I usually like to start at the end here, and then we're gonna go ahead and coat the entire wheel. So, okay, great. And now we're gonna get started. So I'm gonna start down below here. And again, getting all of the crevices. This is why I like this. It's gonna go on. And the cure time is gonna be dependent on any type of coating that you have. So it's totally dependent on the type of coating you got. But in this case, this is about three to five minutes flash time. Now it totally depends on the temperature that you're working in. So right now it's about 10 degrees Celsius in Toronto, Canada. And so I have that in mind. And we're just gonna make sure I get into every bit and every crevice of the wheel. 
and you're gonna know that you need more when it starts to feel like it's grabbing a little bit, but right now it looks good. I may need more. So I'm gonna do that. I'm just gonna put a little bit more, a couple more drops. There we go. And I'm gonna continue on. So you're gonna get really, again, take your time doing this. You're in no rush. This should be kind of more of a, uh, you know, mental health experience, I like to say, if you like doing this stuff. You probably like doing this stuff, that's why you're on the channel. And make sure, again, the faces, you wanna get the faces down. We are done. That's it, that's all you have to do to apply it. Now, you can also apply it to the barrel. So I'm gonna go ahead and apply it to the barrel. But once this is applied, you're gonna wait about, again, two to three minutes, you're gonna see it flash, and then we're gonna buff off with a microfiber towel. It's that easy. Let's go ahead and wait, and then we're gonna buff it off. All right, so got a low ply microfiber towel. This is good, it helps take off ceramics easier. You don't want the plushy ones. And all you're gonna do is buff off. Now make sure, again, you give it a good buffing, okay? You're gonna flip the towel out a couple times, and you just wanna make sure, again, you go over every surface. You don't want to leave anything sitting there. So just take your time on it, enjoy it. This is the one time that your wheel is going to be this clean. Um, probably ever, even though obviously with the ceramic it's gonna be, get cleaner and we understand that, it's still never gonna be this clean again. So just take the time to do this here. Now I'm gonna flip the towel, get it to another side. And again, just take your time, go into every bit of the spokes, right? You don't wanna leave anything for granted, get the edges. But that's really it guys, once you do this, you are good. And so C-Quartz 3.0 UK, it's been on my car for about a year and a half now, and it's been amazing. So that's why I highly recommend it. Again, all these products, including this little tire holder, this wheel holder here on the wall, I'll put in the description box down below the links to it if you're interested in those. Um, but it's really that simple. And look, if you already have your wheels off of the vehicle and they're already available to be clean, it's just easy to do it right now. Again, you could do this while it's on your car, that's not an issue. Just make sure, again, you clean it really, really well before moving on. But uh, that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, leave it in the comment box down below. I'd be happy to help you. But again, I've been doing this for 15 years for a large part. Like a lot of it was my job at the time. Then now it's kind of just more of a hobby again for me. And so I really enjoy doing this and I really love it. And plus, just for my daily driver or even my garage queen like the R8, um, it just makes it easier to keep clean. Life is uh, getting busier now with a kid and everything. So trying to find ways, little hacks on, you know, spending less time necessarily, maybe detailing, more time with the family and the wife and the kids. And this is a great way to go ahead and do it. But you can see now, this wheel looks awesome. It already looked awesome. Now it looks even more awesome. And now it's gonna be protected and I'm gonna be able to keep it looking awesome like this. Really easy going forward in the future. So again, I hoped you enjoyed this video. I'm gonna give it the last buff and I'll catch you guys in the next one.